It's Trigger King RCTV with Sport Mod action from the 2024 Summer Series event number four, bracket number eight of the season. This is our second bracket of the event. After this, we'll crown the day's champion for this event as we take a look at qualifying results. El Toro Zombie, Barefoot, and the top qualifier, Xbox Bigfoot. Last time out, El Toro Zombie defeated Bigfoot Destination in the finals. Zombie looking good so far with a top three qualifying effort. Can he back it up as we move into round number one of action? The number 16-17 matchup. Orange Thunder 2 and Snakebite Michael Spurlock. Quick down and back J-hook track with some driving effort in there as they have to go over the bus stop and putting some driving onto the track. It's Snakebite taking our first victory as Bigfoot Destination and Black Pearl are on the line. The 825 matchup. Black Pearl was the top qualifier last time out and he's the 25th now. Showing how much things can change. One bracket from another and a wild finish. Destination gets it done. Those two always a great pairing, a great race right there as well. Iron Outlaw, Michael Spurlock, we've already seen him in the snake bite. Out against King Kong, Chris Lane. A 9-24 matchup. See the quick blast over the tabletop, down into the bus stop, and a tight turn over two sets of cars. Don't underestimate those car sets because of the speed involved. That can upset these trucks as Iron Outlaw takes the win. Chris Lane right back up on the line as the number 29 qualifier facing the number four qualifier equalizer. Equalizer the points leader right now. Equalizer a little cautious over that first car set, but getting it done as Chris Lane charges in the far lane. Sudden impact number 13 and Awesome Kong. Troy Haas the number 20 in the far lane. Awesome Kong, a wild interpretation of the Awesome Kong classic name. Haas bringing his own identity out or his own concept out, but it's not going to get it done this time as Sudden Impact wins this round. Number five, Austin 316, Josh Rose. Hoping to break the glass on TMNT Andy Salerno. A really smooth run. Austin taking the win, looking strong. We'll see how that plays out throughout the day. Number 12 and number 21, Chain Reaction and Buffalo Trimmer. I tell you, that bus stop heading into the first corner is tricky. The drivers are charging hard and they've got to get the truck slowed down. And Trimmer did that, got it done, and takes the win. On the line now, Big A's wrecking Andy Salerno and Batman, Troy Haas. Two great looking pieces of equipment out there, but who's going to get to the finish line first? Salerno with a nice downside on the tabletop, launching him down the straightaway. Both trucks a little off center over the car set, but Big A's wrecking gets the round win. Fred Kurz, the Punisher, number seven, and the number 26, West Virginia Mountaineer, Dan Chicha, gosh, representing his home state of West Virginia on the Trigger King circuit. He'd like to bring home a victory. Oh, but a tough corner and not going to get it done as the Punisher takes the win. Cheech right back up on the line with the Predator facing off against Iron Aaron Janes and the Roadhog. Predator looking awesome, great looking truck, but the Roadhog's going to hog the victory. Orange Fury and Aquabats on the line right now. Oh, a great turn for Blank in the Fury, but he blows it on the straightaway. Giving the win to the Aquabats. El Toro Loco Pink from Chris Hackinson, the number six qualifier, and Mike Bufka, the number 27 qualifier with Monster Patrol. Oh, 
Oh, big air over the bus stop. And Pinkalicious El Toro Loco with a great corner and straightaway gets to the finish line first. Our final pair in round number one, Taurus Jeremy Mark and Gravedigger Greg Coffey. Taurus nosing over at the finish line in true Wilman chassis form. How very scale as we move on into round number two of action. Out first, it's the number one qualifier, Xbox Bigfoot and Snakebite. Number 17 qualifier, Michael Spurlock. Can Spurlock knock off the number one qualifier on this quick J-hook track? Chandler showing why he's the number one qualifier. Smooth sailing out there into round number three. Chandler right back up on the line with an 8-9 matchup. Spurlock back up on the line. Destination versus Outlaw. Spurlock's got a second chance. Can he get it done? They're in the same lanes. Oh, Spurlock was looking good to that corner and got tied up on the turn marker and Destination moves to the third round. Sudden impact, Fred Kurz. And equalizer, Chris Parrish. This is the number 13, number four matchup. Oh, Kurz with a wheelie off the starting line. That kind of hurt him. Oh, Parrish all out of sorts. And sudden impact flies past him at the finish line. Incredible, the number one in points goes down in round number two. Austin 316 and Buffalo Trimmer. Austin looked good in round number one. Oh, Austin's sliding a little off to the side, but still getting to the finish line first, moving into round number three. Chris Parrish in Barefoot Racer, the number two qualifier, and Andy Salerno in Big A's Wrecking in the far lane. Parrish with the lead to the corner, checks up between the car sets, but gets the victory. Roadhog. Aaron James and the Punisher out on the track. Punisher number seven, nice downside on the tabletop. Looking good, nice bounce off of the cars and Fred with the Punisher looking strong on that pass. Number two in points, El Toro Loco Zombie and Aquabats, Isaac Ankrum. Toro number three. Aquabats number 14, big air for Aquabats. Zombie out of shape but gets the recovery and gets to the finish line to take the win to move to round number three. Another bull right back up on the line. Hackinson back with Pinkalicious, El Toro Loco. Facing off against Taurus three, Jeremy Marks. Pinkalicious with a little bit of a lead, nips the turn marker and flies to victory. El Toro will face El Toro in an all Hackinson matchup in round number three. But we're at the top of the bracket. Austin 316 and Sudden Impact. Sudden Impact knocked off Number one in the points, but not going to take the measure of Austin as Austin 316 moves to the semifinals. Barefoot Racer, the number two qualifier, and the Punisher, Fred Kors, the number seven qualifier. These two raced in round two. Fred took the measure of equalizer. But this time out, Parrish gets the better of Coors and moves to the semifinals with the barefoot. Meanwhile, in round three, Destination Bigfoot defeats Xbox Bigfoot and Zombie El Toro Loco defeats Pink El Toro Loco. Setting up our semifinals, Austin 316, the number five qualifier, and in the far lane, Destination Bigfoot, Bob C. Chandler, the number eight qualifier, this is a battle of two titans. Who's going to the finals? 
Oh! Austin hung up just a little bit on the cars and Destination with the power to the ground. Destination moving to the finals. Our other semi-final pair, Barefoot Racer number two versus number three, Zombie Toro Loco. A battle of the Chris's K versus C. Oh, huge air for Barefoot. Wow, that was awkward. I think they're calling impediment on Barefoot crossing the center line and just barely hitting Zombie Toro Loco, sending him to the finals. It'll be your number three, number eight matchup. El Toro Zombie looking to sweep the day. Facing off again against Bigfoot Destination. If you joined us in bracket one, this is exactly the finals you saw. They're doing it again. Who will get it this time? Chandler wide in the corner and El Toro sweeps the day by winning bracket number two. Incredible by Chris Hackinson out of the Chicagoland area. Rocking both bulls in the sport mod class and Killing the competition with the Zombie Toro Loco. Winning both brackets, sweeping the day. That means he'll be the overall champion for event number four of the 2024 Summer Series. That's going to be a big points boost for him. Hackinson gaining valuable points as we see it now. Equalizer and El Toro Zombie tied at the top. Bigfoot Destination and Xbox just behind with only two brackets of racing remaining. It should be exciting. Not to mention, we'll drop two of the lowest scoring brackets for each driver. We'll see how this all plays out in future events. It's going to be exciting. We thank you for joining us. We'll catch you next time.